prosperous and free. This country was founded on the belief that we could live with free fundamental rights and without excessive taxation. While we struggle with keeping our jobs and paying our electric Today our mission is taking back our country. Taking back our country from elected officials who are, who are spending hard-earned taxpayers' money on earmarks, bailouts, and special interest groups. From elected officials who have no regard for the Constitution, states' rights, and the concerns of small business that employ the majority of working Americans. We're taking our country back from elected officials who accept bribes from special interest groups to push legislation based on the bribes and not what is good for our country. We're taking our country back from elected officials who do not live by the same laws that they pass and expect us to obey. We're taking our country back from elected officials who are responsible for the problems facing our nation's economy. Thank you, Barney Frank and Christopher Dodd. We are taking our country back from elected officials who are pushing our country into socialism, which will give them more power over us and our American citizens. We're taking our country back whose liberal anti-capitalism and anti-Judeo-Christian values have caused every major problem facing America today. who constantly point the finger of blame at everyone but themselves. We are taking our country back from elected officials who are blind to the threats facing our country from illegal immigration, terrorist cells, and foreign countries that are not friends of America and have committed to destroy our way of life. We are taking our country back from elected officials who believe the money we send to government is their money and not ours. We are taking our country back from elected officials. <clears throat> who have been in power too long. It's time for term limits. It's time to be in power. And it's time to get rid of all of them and start over again. next speaker is a young man, Quentin Ham. He's 19 years old. He's a college student. And when I spoke to him the other day, I asked him to speak from his heart and the concerns that he has as he looks to pursuing a career. Quentin? Good afternoon. My name is Quentin Ham. I'm 19 years old, and I'm currently attending DMAC for a two-year degree in business. And I plan on going to the University of uh, Northern Iowa to study political science. <laughs> it's people like me and my age that are going to be running the greatest country on earth in the very, new, in the very near future. Maybe. Yeah. We need to educate not only the young, but everyone to what it means to be an American and what our founding yeah. fathers meant when they wrote the Constitution. Because you know, no one's going to learn anything from the one-sided liberal media in schools. to let our representatives know the way we feel about taxes. But I also think a lot of us are here for many other reasons. Reasons and issues that are changing what it means to be an American and an Iowan. It seems like every day a right, a freedom, or a common sense ideal is attacked. Principles and ideals that define what it means to be an American are trampled and the constitution of this great country means pretty much nothing to the majority party here in Iowa and in Washington. No to tax hikes. No to a tax on a tax. No to gay marriage. No to legislation from the bench. And no to unelected judges and their opinions. We're also here to say yes to family values. Yes to common sense. And yes to upholding the laws set forth the Constitution of the United States of America. Thank you.